Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous few videos, we discussed the basic concepts and the overall uh, layout of the subject of material science and engineering and also about the classification of various engineering materials in short. In this video, we are going to discuss in a quick way about the various properties of materials that are considered for uh, as per the suitability okay their suitability for use in a particular engineering application what properties are considered what uh, which properties are evaluated examined and analyzed to consider their suitability for a particular engineering application so all of these uh, properties that we are going to study today of course in short they we will discuss them in detail in separate videos because they are very vast in themselves okay and in order to study them we first got to have a good idea you know the overall idea of what those properties are so the various uh, properties of engineering materials that are considered are mechanical properties chemical properties electrical properties optical properties thermal properties physical properties uh, magnetic properties and technological properties so this is very important uh, especially for instrumentation engineers because the sensors and transducers field in that uh, field we have to deal with various types of uh, parameters it is not necessary that the uh, physical or uh, the quantity which we are going to analyze it is uh, necessarily uh, electrical only that is voltage or current signal it can be anything it can be force pressure displacement uh, or it can be any chemical concentration or partial pressure of a particular gas which is chemical properties then uh, it can be about uh, the intensity of a particular radiation okay which is optical radi optical properties then we have to discuss we have to also consider the thermal aspects such as heat then the physical properties also which is uh, the same the force pressure and whatever the thing which is there and also about the magnetic properties okay permeability and uh, all those things so the magnetic character the uh, the characteristics of the material will also be considered for the designing of various sensors and transducers of course the end product the end result the output will be electrical in nature so there the electrical properties come into play so this uh, is very much uh, in uh, tune for the instrumentation engineers especially for the design of sensors and transducers also it has application in all the other fields um, be it uh, mechanical engineering civil engineering aerospace engineering defense uh, biomedical applications so it has many use but from the point of view of an instrumentation engineer i try to give you uh, an example so as to uh, understand the importance of studying the properties of engineering materials so we'll discuss each of these properties in a quick way here so mechanical properties so mechanical properties are those characteristics those features that uh, determine the behavior of the material under the influence of external forces okay when a force or load is applied on the material what changes the material shows okay in order to study them we have to consider these parameters for example stress strain modulus of elasticity ductility malleability hardness toughness fatigue wear resistance so all of that elongation uh, they are all uh, the mechanical properties these parameters are considered to study it then electrical properties so these are those characteristics that uh, exhibit the material behavior when a current flows through it what is the response of the material when we connect a voltage source and try to flow a current through it 
So the various uh, parameters that uh, give us an idea about the electrical characteristics, they are resistivity, conductivity, dielectric strength, superconductivity, semiconductivity, so all of that come into play. Then thermal characteristics, the thermal properties. So these characteristics, uh, they show the behavior of the material under the action of heat. Okay. So the various parameters that uh, will give us an idea about the thermal characteristics of the material, they are heat capacity, thermal expansion, thermal conductivity, melting point, thermal shock, thermoelectricity, all of that. Then is the magnetic properties. Okay. So they describe the material behavior, these properties. Uh, they describe its behavior when it is placed under the influence under of an external magnetic field. So the various parameters associated with uh, the magnetic characteristics of the material, they are permeability, susceptibility, reluctance, coercivity, retentivity, hysteresis. So all these characteristics are studied. Then the chemical properties. So how the material responds to various chemicals that are added to it that those are uh, given by the chemical properties and the parameters that are uh, that are studied are acidity alkalinity neutrality corrosion resistance uh, the chemical composition the molecular weight etc so these uh, things are studied then the optical properties so how the material behaves under the influence of uh, light which is an electromagnetic wave that is given by the optical characteristics of the material so the various parameters uh, associated with optical characteristics are refractive index reflectivity absorb absorptivity so uh, they are all considered for optical characteristics then we have the physical properties so they are mainly associated with the external features of the material such as the appearance, the dimension, the color, the shape and size. So all these are uh, considered under the physical properties. Now it is very important to study these properties for the design of any material for engineering application. For example, let us say we are considering a material uh, as a construction material for the construction of a bridge. So there various properties, the analysis of various properties come into play. For example, we have to consider the me mechanical properties, which is very important in that case. The stress, strain, the modulus of elasticity, uh, those all will come into play, hardness, toughness, because we are considering to for that, dis the, the, that construction should be it should last for many years so for that the mechanical properties should be considered also the chemical properties for exam uh, example if we are using iron then rusting of iron comes into play then the various changes in weather rain uh, sunlight uh, then extreme cold so all of that will have an influence on the design the uh, the construction of that uh, bridge then the various other properties can be the physical properties the shape size the appearance so all of these will come into play so we have to consider the different properties which will have an impact on that suitable application similarly for the design of uh, various sensors and transducers the various uh, properties for example as I said uh, for the design of a temperature sensor, let's say RTD. The various properties that we have to consider first, most importantly, electrical properties. Is the output is in electrical form or not? Because if it is not in electrical form, we have to figure out a particular signal conditioning mechanism to give us an output in electrical form. For example, RTD exhibits a change to the surrounding temperature with a change in resistance. So it is giving us an electrical output. So if we connect it in a voltage divider or bridge circuit, we will give 
we will, we will get an electrical output in terms of voltage or current change also we have to consider the mechanical properties because we have to use it in a particular environment we have to install it there and it should be able to uh, withstand uh, adverse environmental conditions uh, sunlight uh, changes in weather conditions wear and tear abrasion so all of that will come into play so the physical mechanical electrical properties they come into play so uh, these are the various things that's why the engineering properties are considered for the particular uh, application in engineering or whichever field it is going to be used so here we have tried to discuss all of these engineering properties of materials in short and we'll discuss them in detail in the upcoming videos so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much